Most of the time, we welcome rain in San Diego County. Each drop brings much needed moisture. However, during a heavy downpour, sediment from exposed slopes can wash down into our waterways. The results can harm plants and animals. The good news is that the impact on our environment can be minimized with the use of best management practices, or BMPs. Today, we'll look at installing one temporary BMP that controls both erosion and sediment runoff. Hi, I'm Christine Sloan. I am the program coordinator for the Stormwater Audits team for the Watershed Protection Program. I'm here today with Tony Berry. He is a civil engineer with the Watershed Protection Program and he's going to be explaining to us today how to install fiber rolls. So Tony, can you explain a little bit today of, of what we're doing here? Well, you can see behind me, Christine, that in the past we've experienced an erosion problem on the slope behind us. What we're doing today is installing fiber rolls in order to decrease some of that erosion potential. We're going to begin by locating the areas where we're going to place the fiber rolls on the slope. We're then going to go ahead and uh, kind of shovel some dirt around and fill in some of the erosion that's occurred. We're then going to dig trenches for the fiber rolls to be placed into. The fiber rolls will then be placed into the trench and will be staked into place. And that's about it. Great. Well then, let's get started with the first step. Fiber rolls are considered temporary BMPs that look like cylinders of compacted fiber wrapped in mesh. You may have seen them along our San Diego freeways. Fiber rolls are most commonly filled with straw, but alternative fillings include composted material, wood chips, and coconut husks. Fiber rolls have two very common uses. One is sediment control. This is done by laying fiber rolls along the perimeter of a project, dirt stockpile, or problem area. The rolls work to capture moving sediment as stormwater passes through the fiber. And the other common use is erosion control. This is done by stabilizing the slope and slowing the momentum of runoff as it passes through the fiber. When you are selecting which BMP to use, it is important to match appropriate BMPs with task and location. For example, fiber rolls could work well for sediment control along a sidewalk, but are only effective when staked into the ground. Therefore, they should not be used on pavement or impermeable surfaces. Staking the fiber roll ensures pollutants cannot bypass the BMP and are captured properly. Also, pay attention to the environment where you are placing the fiber roll. Some fiber rolls may contain seeds of non-native and invasive plants and should not be used in sensitive habitat. Ask the distributor if the fiber rolls are sterile if you need to use them in sensitive areas. So we're here at the bottom of the slope. Tony, can you tell me what you have going on here so far? Certainly, we're off to a really good start. We began by locating where we're going to be placing the fiber rolls. We then went ahead and prepared the slope by filling in some of the erosion that's occurred. And then we started at the bottom of the slope and we're working our way upslope by trenching, placing, and staking into place the fiber rolls. Great. To choose where to place the fiber rolls, look for level contours and space them according to how steep the slope is. The steeper the slope, the closer the fiber rolls should be to each other. For example, on a gradual four to one slope or flatter, the rolls should be placed no more than 20 feet apart. The spacing drops to 15 feet apart on a two to one slope and 10 feet apart with a steeper incline of two to one or greater. Start installing the rolls at the bottom of the slope and work your way up. To make sure the fiber rolls are effective, they have to be installed parallel to the slope contour and perpendicular to water movement. First, dig out a level trench and align along the contour of the slope. The trench should be two to four inches deep. Once the trench is dug, the roll can be placed inside it. It is important that the fiber roll lays snugly within the trench. So now that it's in the trench, you want to make sure that it's snug in the trench. You want to make sure that it's flat to the ground and that there are no open areas underneath where you can see daylight to ensure that there's not going to be any runoff going underneath. If your trench requires more than one fiber roll, don't put them directly end to end. Instead, the ends of the two fiber rolls should be overlapped by 12 to 16 inches side by side and turned up slope. Okay, Tony, so is there anything special we need to do here at the end? Yes, Christine, there is. If we left the fiber roll in the position it was in, the runoff would hit the fiber roll, come around the side, and cause erosion at the ends. So what we need to do with the ends of the fiber roll is bend them upward in the direction of flow. So this fiber roll looks like it's ready. 
What's the next step, Tony? Well, if we left the fiber roll where it's at right now and the first rain came along, it would probably cause it to roll right down the hill. So what we need is to secure it into place using stakes. Pound in stakes at each end of the fiber roll. Add at every four feet along the length of the roll. Stakes should be at least two feet long. Using a hammer or a small sledge, drive the stakes completely through the fiber roll so the stake goes at least six inches into the ground. Leave about two inches showing above the top of the fiber roll. If it is too hard to pound a stake directly into the ground, use a metal pole to help you create a starter hole, then drive in the stake. Once the stakes are in place, use the soil you took out of the trench to backfill behind the fiber roll and pack the soil down tightly. That's about it, Christine. Uh, the rolls have been placed, they've been staked, and now they're ready for rain. Can these fiber rolls stay in place? Yes, but they'll need to be maintained and inspected regularly, and they'll need to be replaced as necessary. The success of fiber rolls depends upon proper installation, as well as routine inspection and maintenance. Improperly installed fiber rolls can leave gaps, allowing water to run underneath them, reducing their effectiveness. BMP should be inspected regularly, particularly after a rainstorm. If you see split, torn, unraveling, or slumping fiber rolls, repair or replace them promptly. Keep in mind fiber rolls are a temporary BMP. They would degrade over time. Most fiber roll netting is made out of plastic, which can become a pollutant if allowed to remain in the environment for too long. Remember, only rain in the storm drain. So Tony, let's run through the steps one more time. Okay, the first step is to determine where you're going to place the fiber rolls. The second step is to prepare the slope by filling in the erosion that's occurred. The third step is to dig the trench for the fiber roll to go in. The fourth step is to stake the fiber roll in the place. Well, thank you, Tony, for your help today. You're very welcome. And if you need more information on fiber rolls, you can just log on to our website at projectcleanwater.org.